If you could say one thing to the world, what would you say? Um, then, then that we're not um, different than a lot of other people. Hmm. Yeah, that it doesn't matter what we look like. Yeah, that's what we're I We're just like. normal kids, yeah. Would you rather have a million dollars or a million friends? Um, a million friends. A million friends. Why? Because um, because usually friends are going to stick with you throughout your life. Yeah. And money, that's just going to waste away. If someone's meeting your brothers for the first time, what would you say to them? Um, usually, I just... Like, if they weren't looking at them, like, weirdly, like, if they were being nice, then I'd just, like, go along with it, be like, yeah, these are my brothers. But, like, if they were looking at them strangely, I'd, like, explain it to them, like, how they are. What would you say? I'd say, like, I'd say, these are my brothers, they have special needs, like, don't judge them, like, they're the same as you, just they look different. If somebody out there wants to be your friend, what should they do? Um, she just, like, um... Like the way that they want to be treated and treated as normal. How do you feel when you make a new friend? Like really, really happy. Yeah. When people meet your sons, what do you hope they understand? Um, I hope that they understand that they um, that they are twelve and eight, and um, that they can do things for themselves, and that we expect that we have high expectations for them. Do you two dudes love each other? Yeah. How do you know? Um, because um, we both like almost have like everything in common. So obviously we, we both have special needs. And also, um, um, oh yeah, we like um, to watch YouTube, right? We both like watching yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Um, we both like playing games on our phones, like Minecraft. So they have um, mandibuloacral dysplasia, which is a form of progeria, and um, it is. So there's one child in Texas that's younger than them that was diagnosed, and there's two girls in Japan, I think, and they're the only children that have been diagnosed with it. What's it like to have a special need? Um, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. Like, we can't, like, play certain things. Yeah. Because, like, you know, like, um, like, um, like we're not as tough as other people. And it's also hard because sometimes, this doesn't happen that much, that much, but like sometimes kids might make fun of us because of the way that we look. What's your biggest goal for these two as they get older and become teenagers? Just don't let people get to you because there's some really cruel people out there and it like will feel like your world is crashing, but once you get past it, you'll be fine. But some people actually like look at us like we're like weird. It's like really hard. How do you feel when that happens? Just like angry and like sad. Sad. Yeah. What would you like to say to those people? Um, that we're not that different and it doesn't matter what we look like. What's your favorite thing to do with your dad? Um, play football. Yeah, Ben loves, Ben can play football outside like all day like, long. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Do you get a sense of pride seeing you guys wear Philly sports gear? Oh, they, 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 <laughs> absolutely. I wouldn't have it any other way, right? <laughs> What's it like to have a brother in the same situation? Um, it's just like weird sometimes. How is it weird? I don't know. I don't understand how it's weird. I just feel like it's like, like, um, I'm not sure it's hurt. It's not really weird, but like, it's, it's hard. What would you say it's like, Nathan? Um, I think it's so 
It's, I think it's good because, like, we can relate to each other. That's true. The meanest thing that Nathan's ever said to me <laughs> was what? Um, was it when I said that your singing sounded like a dying goat? <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. <laughs> if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, super strength. Because we don't like, you know, like well, not his us. would be super strength. Mine might, um, um, probably super speed. Actually, my superpower would be like to not have special needs. What's it like for you to hear them say they wish they didn't have a special need? Um, it's, it breaks my heart because, um, that's what I wish too. Um, I love them dearly and it's hard, um, it's complicated because it is who they are, so, and I love them to pieces. Um, but I wish they didn't have to struggle with some of the things that they have to struggle with and I wish they, um, could do whatever any parent wants their kids to be able to do whatever they want to do, so it's hard. Why do you want to not have special needs? Because, I, well, sometimes it could be helpful and sometimes it's not. Be um, like, I think he doesn't want to have special needs. I'm just going to take the to find one. Um, it's probably just because, like, then we can't play as much sports and we can't, like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I like sports a lot. Some people just get like used to me. Yeah. Like, like they don't mind if I have special needs or not. Like whenever they so like see me, like, like whenever they walk away, they like um maybe I'll make friends with them later, but not today probably. And then like the next day, they usually go like hi, and then it's like hi. <laughs> How does it make you feel when they say hi? I'm really happy. When somebody meets you for the very first time, what do you hope they think? That they like us. Yeah. Nathan has an aide and he doesn't want an aide, so we're uh, having trouble with that. Cause he's in middle school now, so he's very cool and started texting all his friends and it's funny to see him become a teenager. Why don't you want someone to help you in school? Um, because... I think that I can do all this stuff by myself and that, that, that when I do have somebody there, it just makes me seem even more different. Would you say there's any misconceptions about your two boys? Um, yeah, I think just, you know, at times, you know, limitations with, with certain things that they can do. Um, you know, Nathan is also in the Cub Scouts. So, um, and uh, Boy Scout, I'm sorry, he's a Boy Scout. Uh, he, he's transitioned into Boy Scout. So, um, you know, there's certain things even there that I think they, um, you know, they set certain um, guidelines ahead of time that there's certain things that they, you know, don't think that he'd be able to do. And I think, you know, he's proven them in wrong in, in a number of occasions where he's, you know, we went on a hike, in, you know, to Gettysburg. And I mean, how long was that hike? It was like 15 miles. And he, you know, they told him a like number 10. of times that he can just, you know, he could, you know, Actually, you know yeah. take the short route if he wanted to, and, um, and that he made the entire walk. What do you want to do when you guys are older? Um, I just want to be a YouTuber. All right, that looks good. Come on in here, guys. So blogging's really interesting, because it's like you're having a conversation with someone who's not even there. That's weird, right? And I want to look for, well, I like coding and stuff, so I want to look for Apple. If you're going to be a blogger, you need an intro. What's your intro? Um, um, it's like, it's like in the front, like, it's going to be like just a picture with like me and my brother. And then it'll just like, like, like zoom, like in, like go in. Who's better at Minecraft? Well, I think I'm better at Redstone. Yeah, you're definitely better at Redstone. But I'm better at like, like getting like things. If you know. Yeah, like resources. I'm gonna give you a rapid fire questions. Who wants the first question? Bennett, <clears throat> would you rather wrestle a shark or an alligator? <laughs> I would say alligator. Why an alligator? I actually know a shark. Why a shark? Because I can swim away. 
That's a good answer. <laughs> Nathan, would you rather wrestle a grizzly bear or a big snake? Um, bear because a snake could be poisonous. Will you two always have each other's back? Yes. Yes. Why? Because we're just brothers and like, brothers always have the other brother like back. Why will you always have Bennett's back, Nathan? Um, because he's nice to me and because we're brothers and we need to stick up for each other. Mm -hmm. Would you rather, um, um, eat something like really, really, really disgusting? Like mud? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're what? Or, um, Bennett, or what? Um, or, um, uh, and your vlog. I would rather eat mud, because I love meeting awesome people like you. <laughs> what is your biggest hope for Nathan and Bennett? Uh, my biggest hope is that they just, they grow up to be happy, healthy kids with you know, surrounded by, you know, lots of friends and family who care for them and love them and um, just enjoy um, spending time with them just as much as I do. I had so much fun vlogging with you. I'm glad you two came in. Before we turn off this camera, is there anything else you want to say to the world? No, not really. <laughs> Hands in right here. We're sports guys. And on three, we rock. One, two, three. We, we rock! rock!